finally got the baby down. The doctor said it's a normal fever, but we have to monitor it in case of Kawasaki disease. Kawasaki? What even is that? I don't think I've ever heard that name before. I should probably look at the site that the doctor gave me. Oh, here it is, Kawasaki. A mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome. I still have never heard of this. Kawasaki disease is an illness that causes inflammation, so swelling and redness in blood vessels throughout the body. Hmm. Inflamed of blood vessels? They can damage your coronary arteries? It affects children under five years old. Well, Gabe is about 24 months now. And what's this here? It's the most common cause of childhood acquired heart disease in developed countries? Well, I wonder what causes this then? Like what exactly happens? Oh, look here, the causes. Well, the cause is here. Oh, the cause is unknown? So how did he even get it then? Well, it's likely a combination of environmental or genetic factors. Kawasaki disease involves inflammation of the blood vessels throughout the body. This means that this is a systemic vasculitis disease and it mainly affects medium-sized blood vessels. Infections such as viral infections and strep throat are thought to be contributors to Kawasaki disease-derived vasculitis. An immune response is initiated when there is an infection in the body. The cells that are responsible for meeting this response includes monocytes, IgA antibodies, neutrophils, and cytotoxic T cells. These are called antigen-presenting cells, and they contribute to the swelling and redness of these medium-sized vessels. They work by picking up the foreign substances that arise from infections and then create an inflammatory response. This inflammatory response involves misdirecting the attack from the infection and temporarily attacking the medium-sized vessels. This typically leads to the damaging of blood vessel components, which include collagen and elastic fibers, and can further alter the structure of the blood vessels. Damaged blood vessels can become thickened, weakened, narrowed, or scarred, and these changes can limit the flow of blood in and out of the vessels. Ah, that video makes sense. So vasculitis is an inflammation of blood vessels, and that's basically what Kawasaki disease causes. rash strawberry tongue the doctor did say gabe had a rash but still not to worry and keep monitoring for a couple of days oh it says it here classic kawasaki disease is diagnosed when patients have fever for five or more days with at least four of these cardinal features that's probably why the doctor said to bring him back in like five days well gabe is on day two so it's definitely too early to know i wonder what this causes though like, what, what does this cause? I know no one in my family had it, and I don't think anyone in his dad's family had it either, if it's genetic. Did someone at his daycare give it to him? Well, thankfully, it's not contagious, so he couldn't have got it from daycare. Wow, the incidence is 25,000 out of 100,000 children. That's not a lot, but that's still quite a few. It is more common in males though. And look, there may be genetic influence as it is common in Asian and Asian Americans. I mean, I'm half Asian and so is his dad. Well, it's still day two, so I'm not going to worry too much yet. But I wonder if his fever does persist, how will the doctors check? Okay, so they'll do a blood test. Oh gosh, Gabe hates needles. His dad's gonna have to come to that appointment with me if his fever does persist. So this blood test basically just shows whether his blood vessels are inflamed. It said that before Kawasaki disease is an inflammation or swelling of blood vessels. So I guess this test can directly find that. They also use ECGs, echocardiography. What even is that? I think my dad had that once before. Oh, so it's basically just gonna test how Gabe's heart is functioning. Again, seeing if there's any inflammation in Gabe's body.
so thankful Gabe didn't fuss too much during his blood test. They were able to confirm that he does have Kawasaki disease. Doctor says he thankfully should be fine, but we have to stay here in the hospital as he gets treatment. Three phases of Kawasaki disease. Ah, so the disease has different stages. Stage one. That rash was probably one of the symptoms the doctor saw to confirm that he had Kawasaki disease. His fever has gone down now, thankfully, so he's probably in the subacute phase. Hopefully when he gets to stage three, his joint pain will go away and he will no longer have that rash. I guess we have to come back after for another blood test to make sure he's better, but I'll ask the nurse the next time she comes in to check on Gabe. The doctor is giving him so much aspirin. Like, how is it even normal to take that much aspirin? That seems crazy to me. Uh, but I guess it's normal because here it says a high dose of aspirin is given orally to treat inflammation until blood tests show that inflammation has improved. The doctor also said it was good we caught it early to prevent further damage to other organs and his heart. That makes sense because it says here that IVG treatment is used to prevent coronary artery problems. It's a good thing that I closely monitored and tracked all of Gabe's symptoms because in this case, it wasn't just an ordinary fever. Hello, if you're here, you're most likely a parent who has a child who is either in the process of diagnosis or has been diagnosed with Kawasaki disease. Taking care of a sick child can take a toll on parents both physically and emotionally. Coping with your child's illness as a parent means taking care of yourself. Techniques to reduce stress during this time include talking to others, seeking help when needed, and also attending health support meetings as well as seeing a counselor. As parents, you must look after yourself so that you are able to take care of your child.